Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Group and welcome to this another episode of PP600 tutorial series. In this part, we are going to talk about data leak house. What is a data leak house and why should you need it? We are going to talk everything about it. You should know that data lake house is a combination of a data lake and a data warehouse. Traditionally, we used to store our data or let's say historical data into our data warehouses, which are relational databases and where you can use SQL to query the data or you can build your cubes, etc. on the top of that. But with the growing demand where we have a lot of unstructured data, structured data and semi-structured data, and then we have a huge demand to perform the data science related work over there, as well as the BI and data engineering stuff. For that, Data Lake House is a perfect solution. So if you are looking forward to learn more about it in Microsoft Fabric, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and you're going to get to know everything about it. Now, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Before we start, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon so that you always stay updated with our latest videos and updates. Just imagine you are working in, in an organization which has stores all over the world and stores have their data, they are storing them in the relational databases, but you are also getting the real time data feeds from some of the stores. That means it can be your transportation related or it can be the real time feedback that you are receiving from the customers and that is unstructured data or streamlined data. So now you have streamlined data which is unstructured then you have your structured data and also let's say you have some of the csv files etc where you have your semi-structured data then how you are going to combine all these data and how you are going to perform the complete data analytics on this data well for that we have the lake house which i'm going to show you in this demo let me head over to my laptop and i'm going to show you how you can use it first of all i'm going to use one csv file which is this one you can also use the same file and you can download it. So right click over here, save as, and it can save on your desktop or wherever you would like to. As I mentioned also previously, you need to have the trial version or Microsoft Fabric license to use this feature. So you can likely start from here, creating a, your lake house, or first you can create one workspace. I have already created one workspace that is demo data pipelines and here I can directly go and start creating my lake house. So you have to simply click over here, come here and you would see this option lake house. Just give it a name that is very much familiar to you and I'm going to call it sales lake house. Now create it. It would take a couple of seconds to create it. So just hold on a second. Microsoft Fabric Lakehouse provides you a multiple ways to upload a file. You can either ingest the data using any of these or you can also directly upload it. So what we are going to do here, I'm going to create one subfolder first of all and I'm going to call it a data. Create this one. Once you are over here, then you can upload your data over here and how you can upload it. So you would see this option, upload, upload file, subfolder. You can do that and I'm going to upload one file. My SQL endpoint is also being created already. So you can directly click on this one and here I'm going to come to my desktop. There would be one sales file, which is this one. I'm going to use it. And you can also check this option if you want to override it. So click on this and upload the file. Now you can see that my file data has been uploaded. You can close it and you can visualize the file as well. So this is my data. Now you see there's no table is over here. So under tables, there's no table. So what you can do, you can come here and create a new shortcut. So you can do that. Once you have, you have these couple of options where you would like to create this shortcut or where your file lies. So I say that my file lies in Microsoft One Lake. Here it's going to ask you that which is your file. I say this one because my sales lake house where my file lies. And I'm going to create and click on next. And here it's asking, okay, where does your file is there? So I say here under data folder is my file. So I have to select this one and then I can check this option and I can click next. Then you say, okay, this is going to be my new shortcut. That means I'm not loading actually file. It's just pointing out to this one. So I click on creating it and I can close this one. Now my shortcut has been created over here, which is with the data one. But ideally I should have created this over here in the tables, not over here, isn't it? Because here I'm creating shortcut inside the files itself and I would like to load this data into my table not over here isn't it yeah that's the true 
So that's true. So you can create a shortcut here, but you can also load this file into your table itself. And how you can do that? Well, first of all, what you have to do, you have to come here into your file and you have to come here and load two tables. You can also call it a new table over here. So I'm going to call it a sales table itself, which is a name. And you can also, you know, rename it if you would like to. And then there's a separator, which is already comma. So please be aware about this and simply click on this. This is how easy it is. So you can simply create shortcuts. You can simply load the data with just one click itself. Now, what we are going to do, we are trying to query the data itself. So we can query our data from the table that has been loaded already. But for that, I have to use SQL analytics endpoint. So now if I'm going to come here under tables, I have to refresh it basically. And here my table is there. So let's suppose now you want to run SQL queries on the top of it. So simply change this over here. So this would be definitely one of your interview or let's say your DB600 exam interview questions. So in your DB600 exam questions, you may find this one that how you are going to do this. Now you can simply click over here, new query, and you can paste it and run it. Simply, you're going to get your results over there. This is the way that you can load your data. You can run your SQL queries. And if you want to create certain visuals as well, you can do that very quickly over here. Now you would get a couple of more options over here if you would like to visualize the data likely you can do that but for that you have to also summarize the data in order to visualize this for example to visualize the results select the text of one of the select segment of your query and try it again that's what you have to do so if you want to visualize it you can do it over here or you can visualize your data inside your own power bi desktop itself but as i mentioned you get a lots of more ways to do this you can do your data modeling there but you can also switch to this data pane over here then you can just you know do the visual queries as well you can directly create a report from here as well so simply come over here you are going to say continue and i would like to visualize my data so just wait for a couple of seconds it's going to open another window where you can create your own report with this data so hold on a second And here you have already your sales data. You can just, let's say quantity, and I'm gonna say one dimension. So let me select the customer name. And that's how you can visualize the data and create your own report. It's as simple as that. Now, if you would like to save it, you can save it if you don't want to like it. If you don't want to do that, you don't need to do that. Come back over here. I'm gonna say don't save. It's just for your visualization purpose. And over here, you can see your query over here, right? So what if you have to do certain drag and drop operation, etc. that also you can do over here. So see this. So here you will get a couple of more options. So please try to explore that. Now, once you explore all these options, you are also going to get other visualization pane as well. For example, if I just drag it over there, you will see the new SQL, new visual query. So visual queries are like you can drop over here the table and then you are going to get one visualization like this and here you can perform any other operation you would like to you want to keep some rows you want to delete some rows etc you can do over here for example i'm going to choose certain columns only and i say hey i don't need a lot of column i just need two columns one is my let's say text amount another is going to be my customer name and click ok once you do that now you have the two columns and now you can also visualize the data easily so that's the power of Microsoft Fabric platform. Now you know how to visualize the data in Lakehouse, how to upload the data, how to ingest. Everything is going to be over here in the same platform. So please do try this and then see how it goes, whether you like it, whether you don't like it. But if you have to clear your exam, you must know how to work with this. So this is your data over here. I'm not going to save anything. If you would like to save it, please do save it. That's all about this video. I hope guys you like this video. If you have any suggestion, feedback, please do provide us in the comment section. Also, if you haven't subscribed this channel till now, please do subscribe it. If you're looking for any training programs, if you're looking for career guidance or consultation for your own organization, then please do connect with us. Till then, keep learning and I'm going to see you in the next video.